and a significant nationwide crackdown on fraud targeting federal coronavirus aid, the Justice Department announced on Wednesday that it had initiated 718 law enforcement actions in connection with the alleged embezzlement of over $836 million. Over the course of the past three months, a comprehensive federal sweep has led to a diverse range of criminal charges and other penalties. These actions mirror the ongoing and expensive efforts in Washington to reclaim misappropriated pandemic funds, a task that continues roughly three years after the peak of the public health crisis. To counteract a plummeting economy, both congressional Democrats and Republicans responded in 2020 by enacting a series of coronavirus aid packages totaling around $5 trillion. This financial infusion was intended to alleviate the strain on medical facilities, aid struggling small businesses on the brink of bankruptcy, and provide support for the millions of suddenly unemployed Americans. However, the haste with which these funds were distributed, coupled with long-standing issues of mismanagement at both state and federal levels, inadvertently created an avenue for wastage, fraudulent activities, and abuse that law enforcement agencies are now striving to uncover. On Wednesday, the Justice Department revealed that it had brought charges or initiated investigations involving approximately $8.6 billion in suspected coronavirus aid fraud since the pandemic's outset. This figure encompasses numerous new cases, pleas, sentences, and other developments, all of which were achieved through an intensified enforcement campaign from May to July. In May, Federal prosecutors indicted 30 individuals believed to be linked to a Milwaukee Street gang. The indictment alleges that they illicitly acquired federal benefits intended for unemployed Americans to purchase firearms, drugs, jewelry, and even to solicit contract killings. Further action was taken in July against a New Jersey man accused of filing more than 1,000 false tax returns, apparently aiming to claim about $124 million in federal tax credits designed to help small businesses maintain their workforce. Additionally, federal law enforcement authorities announced a civil case in the same month against a Maryland resident who supposedly defrauded Medicare of $7 million. The allegations involve fraudulent billing for coronavirus tests and medical procedures that were either not ordered or were never completed. Attorney General Merrick Garland conveyed in a statement that the recent surge in enforcement actions sends a clear message that while the COVID-19 public health emergency may be over, the Justice Department's pursuit of those who stole pandemic relief funds is far from concluded. This renewed vigor in prosecuting fraud emerges approximately five months after President Biden committed to penalizing those responsible for misappropriating substantial sums from coronavirus relief funds. In March, Biden urged lawmakers to allocate $1.6 billion to empower the Justice Department in pursuing criminals who misused pandemic funds, as well as to establish measures to prevent future abuse in other aid programs. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre noted in a statement that Congress should heed the president's comprehensive proposal to triple the capacity of these enforcement teams, bolster investments in fraud prevention, and extend the statute of limitations for such crimes. However, these requests for funding have been repeatedly disregarded, leading to insufficient resources for the Justice Department and other key federal oversight agencies. This underfunding, coupled with political disputes between the two major parties, has hindered progress. This inertia has intensified the pressure on the Justice Department, which initiated a national task force to oversee investigations into coronavirus-related fraud starting in May 2021. The agency has also enlisted the assistance of five U.S. attorneys' offices across the country to lead inquiries into the theft of government funds. Two of these teams, known as Strike Forces, based in Colorado and New Jersey, were announced on Wednesday. Michael Galdo, the acting director of COVID-19 Fraud Enforcement at the Justice Department, emphasized the significant effort required to recover these misused funds, given the scale of the reported fraud. He stated, it's a formidable task to regain these funds. Tracing the path of the money is a complex endeavor. Some of the most egregious instances of abuse centered on the nation's unemployment system, where criminals exploited a period when around one million workers were losing their jobs daily. 
With the augmentation of weekly checks by Congress, malicious actors targeted overwhelmed state offices, securing federal benefits in the names of legitimate individuals. The pervasive theft often had detrimental effects on innocent Americans, many of whom discovered their identities were stolen only after being denied jobless benefits. This rampant fraud contributed to an estimated $191 billion in potential losses, encompassing fraudulent activities, according to a federal projection issued this year. Moreover, the Small Business Administration, SBA, was another target, disregarding repeated warnings that stretched back to the Trump administration. The agency hurriedly disbursed over $1 trillion in aid, exceeding its annual budget, leading to an estimated $200 billion in potentially fraudulent loans and grants. This included cases of individuals using counterfeit social security numbers. The agency's haste resulted in a failure to vet applicants for glaring warning signs, even neglecting to cross-reference aid seekers against a federal anti-fraud database known as Do Not Pay.